Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing 10 important DevSecOps that is developer security uh, operations that is uh, DevOps security uh, uh, concerns, DevOps security interview important uh, interview question and answers okay so as this is a growing uh, area where I, uh, IT professionals are required in the DevOps uh, to secure the DevOps uh, infrastructure so it is called as in short DevSecOps where Dave Ops is uh, represented by Dave. Sec is security and uh, Ops is operations. Yes, let us start with the first question. The first question is explain the core uh, principles of Dave Sec Ops. So let's start uh, i have uh, given the sample answers here you can refer these answers okay so you can use this question you can uh, google this question also to for the correct answer or very correct answer if you're not convinced by uh, whatever the answer that i have provided so let us see what answer uh, for this question for the core principles of devsecops devsecops emphasizes shifting security left into the early stages of the development life cycle this means embedding security practices throughout the entire pipeline from planning uh, and coding to testing and deployment Additionally, it promotes shared responsibility for security where uh, developers, uh, sec uh, security teams and operations collaborate to build and maintain secure systems. Next question is, uh, how do you implement security in CI CD pipeline? So there are various way to, ways to integrate security in, in your CI CD pipeline. That is the uh, static code analysis tools are there. So what these tools do scan code for vulnerabilities and uh, security flaws early in the development process so that we can come to know what are the flaws are there and we can uh, recover from it. Okay. So software composition analysis is there. That is uh, uh, SCA that it identify, identify and manage the open source uh, components uh, within your application for known vulnerabilities so like that uh, there is an uh, dynamic application security testing called dust uh, this it, it will like uh, provide the tools to simulate attacker behavior to identify vulnerabilities in uh, running applications security scans for infrastructure automate vulnerability scans for uh, deployed infrastructure in cloud environments or on uh, premises uh, uh, servers Next question is uh, describe common DevSecOps tools and their users. So some popular DevSecOps uh, tools include uh, Jenkins and GitLab CI. So automation uh, platform for CI CD pipeline. Next is Aqua Security or uh, Twistlock. SCA tools for managing open source dependencies. Sonar Cube uh, or Fortify. Static code analysis tools for identifying vulnerabilities. Uh, Net sparker or burp suit dust tools for simulating attacker behavior terraform are ansible infrastructure as code tools for managing cloud infrastructure securely so how do you address security issues uh, discovered in ci cd pipeline the approach depends on the severity and the type of issue. Generally, you would uh, prioritize uh, issues based on their impact uh, and uh, explorability, uh, fix vulnerabilities in the code and update dependencies, uh, rerun uh, relevant security scans uh, to verify resolution and communicate the issue uh, and uh, resolution to stakeholders. Next question is explain the importance of infrastructure as code that is IAC in DevSecOps. IAC tools like Terraform or Ansible allow you to manage infrastructure configuration in code. Uh, this uh, brings uh, numerous benefits uh, uh, for DevSecOps like uh, repeatable and consistent deployments. IAC ensures identical uh, setups uh, across uh, environments, minimizing configuration errors. Uh, I to automate security best practices uh, that is in IAC scripts can enforce security settings and policies directly in infrastructure provisioning version control and track changes are there uh, that is I IAC files uh, are stored in uh, version control allowing for audit trials and rollbacks next question is how do you stay updated on the latest security threats and best practices in DevSecOps answer is staying informed is crucial uh, some options include following security blogs and publications attending industry conferences and workshops participating in online communities and forums and uh, taking online courses uh, and certification and reading research papers and security advisories 
Describe a situation where you successfully incorporated security into a project. What challenges did you face and how did you overcome them? Share a specific experience if you are experienced professional like when you implemented DevSecOps practices in a project highlighting the challenges uh, force uh, uh, faced and uh, your solutions. Emphasize uh, your problem solving skills and collaborate with other teams. How do you approach incident response in DevSecOps environment? Incident response requires a calm and methodological approach that is uh, contain uh, breach to prevent further damage okay, like uh, you put into uh, some uh, region where containment or some kind of thing okay so identify the root cause of the incident and remediate the vulnerability and patch affected systems document the incident and uh, lessons learned also communicate the incident and response to stakeholders how do you balance security with agility in DevSec environment? Finding the right balance is key. Some strategies include uh, shifting security left uh, but focusing on critical vulnerabilities, automating security checks and scans to minimize manual overhead, adopting uh, DevOps practices uh, like uh, feature flags and uh, blue-green deployments to facilitate rollback and recovery, uh, educating uh, developers on uh, secure coding practices. So what are your career goals in DevSecOps? Express your enthusiasm for the field and uh, your desire to grow your skills and knowledge. Uh, share your interest in specific areas like uh, cloud security, threat intelligence or automation. So these are the 10 important uh, questions on DevSecOps. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share this video among your friends. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.